you uh, state your name and your profession, please? Hi, um, my name is Dat Nguyen, N-G-U-I-N, and my profession is uh, a musician. Uh, Dat, um, where were you born and when? Uh, I was born in Vietnam in uh, the year 1970, and uh, I grew up with all kind of beautiful music, you know. <laughs> yeah. um, what is like uh, when you live in Vietnam? Uh, it was a, uh, a very difficult time, uh, for not just for, for me, but for everybody, uh, because uh, 1970, 75, we have... Um, uh, his, a big uh, historical changes and everything uh, ch completely changed completely around um, then the economy is uh, and the life the condition uh, the living condition was uh, very bad where I where I live which is in a very small town in in, in the South Vietnam uh, uh, going went to bed uh, went to bed hungry is a regular story uh, in the uh, family that I was with. Um, uh, hey, but uh, uh, what, what, what made me, uh, w you know, go, uh, went through and, and survive was the, uh, the dream that I have. The dream that I have, uh, uh, which was uh, becoming a professional musician. And the interest in music, the interest in music, the uh, the love of the sound around me, and the struggle and the the fun of the uh, ac acquisition of what I wanted to get, which is music lessons, uh, which is not always available. Uh, so uh, whenever I have a music lesson, which is uh, rare for the first few years uh, was a, a, a very lucky moment for me um, which is uh, uh, you know when when I uh, fell in love with the sound of the guitar uh, which is in 1982 when I was 12 uh, uh, or you know, somewhere about 1982 83 uh, uh, I wanted to get a guitar lesson but I only you know uh, uh, get it by uh, listening to other people's lesson and then remember and then going home went home went home um, practice on my own uh, which is like not a, a complete percent a uh, hundred percent correct um, but uh, you know in Vietnam in Vietnamese language we have a word called học lom học lom you know so I listen to other people's lessons somewhere maybe from 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 um, attending um, my neighbor uh, my friend's lesson or listen to uh, the guitar music on a, on a tape, um, deteriorating, you know, wobbly sounding tape, you know, in, in Vietnam at the time, you know, no CDs back then. Uh, but hey, uh, uh, when you have a w w will, you have a way. And uh, so, so that's a very um, brief story of my uh, music education and how difficult it is to get the music that I wanted. Yeah. When you said that uh, the family you were living with, so it was not uh, your family to begin with? Uh, I have a sister and we live with uh, the people that uh, are trying to help out uh, uh, poor children, yeah. um, uh, disadvantaged children. Yeah. So, uh, and they, they, are, they are like my family, so you know, so and they are are very uh, caring. Um, uh, they are they are also poor, but uh, they uh, are willing to um, help me to create opportunity to uh, make money, which is like um, um, you know playing music in a, a wedding or something like that to save some money for my uh, you know music lessons or music material like guitar books or some st some stuff like that. Yeah, so um, and I I had the uh, uh, f f um, for fortune of um, having a, a music teacher who was also blind, uh, who's uh, never uh, take any money for for my for his music lessons. You know, 
he taught everything, guitar, piano, violin, uh, some Vietnamese traditional instruments, music theory, you know, so, and uh, he was a music professor, uh, graduated in 1960-something, uh, uh, before 1975 in the Vietnamese South Vietnam uh, Conservatory, you know, so. So and uh, he never take uh, money from any uh, from any students who is uh, blind like him, you know. Uh, yes, maybe get a little personal, but uh, how your own family, your father, your mother? Uh, I believe you are uh, American. Yeah, uh, I'm an orphan. Yeah, yeah. So uh, uh, that's that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and um. Uh, I believe that you have the making of living very early. Can you tell us a little bit about what did you do for making a living when you were in Vietnam? Um, you know, I was. Um, I have a. I have a. I had a teacher who taught me uh, 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 music when I was eight. Uh, learning to, how to play drums, and I was. To, I was to follow him uh, uh, f for uh, wedding shows, so that's how that's my early start of making money by playing drums. Yeah, you yeah. Play at wedding or yeah, I play at weddings. Uh, I, I live in a very you uh, know um, a small town in the countryside, in a, a, a you know. A, a rural side of Saigon, you know, of, of uh, the, uh, yeah, that's right, rural side of Saigon. Um, and uh, well, they have a lot of um, wedding every week, you know, so, um, you know, they, because uh, uh, he, he's kind of famous, so every, and, and there, there was, so there was not many bands in 1978, 79, you know, uh, not, there's not a whole lot of bands because, uh, you know, who has the money to create bands, you know, so, um, you know, some people who, uh, uh, had money before 1975 and has musical instruments uh, uh, are not willing to sell them after 1975 so they you know save it keep it keep the amps keep the guitar keep the drum uh, they kept the drum set so uh, he was uh, able to um, create a band um, uh, so I was part of his band so we uh, follow uh, uh, just we were just going around um, different cities in uh, South Vietnam and play weddings, and uh, you know I was making money when I was nine, you know playing drums. Yeah, so that was cool. <laughs> uh, wonderful. How you come here in uh, the United States? Uh, in 1989, I registered for a program uh, for uh, American children, and so and I got here in 1991. Um, in California, Anaheim. Yeah. Uh, went to Philippines. Everybody had to go to had to go to Philippines uh, for six months to learn the American culture, uh, English and culture, you know, and uh, how to adapt to a new society. Well, would you? Uh, they said that uh, under the program they call coming home. Mm -hmm. Did you find here like home and you found your father by any chance? Oh, no, no, uh, not, mm. all I wanted to, when I come here, all I wanted is to have an opportunity for uh, an, a good education and um, somehow after I got a good education and have a chance to give back uh, to people who are less uh, fortunate that, uh, because uh, uh, um, having getting a music education in Vietnam uh, like I did is not the way to do it. I realize that you know, uh, not you know, getting you know, sneaky lessons or you know, borrow books and then return you know, borrow guitar and practice and then return and that's not the way to do it. So I don't want any. I hope I can you know when I I, I hope I give a I have a chance to. Uh, for for the Vietnamese uh, poor children who uh, love music doesn't have to do that. Uh, do do not have to do that. You know, so that's what I uh, uh, wanted to come here and then and I did get a very good education. Um, got a degree in uh, in music in 1999 in California 
and have uh, had a, a good chance to perform uh, and no, uh, throughout the North American continent. And I'm starting giving back. Yeah. Well, uh, starting as a refugee, you know, you have no language, uh, no skill language of this country, and uh, you are uh, one of the disadvantaged person. Uh, mm -hmm. Can you tell how difficult to get back to a new life over here? Um, how how you did it? Um, it in well, let's start in the Philippines. Uh, I study English uh, by uh, ha having my friends who live in the same. Uh, it's called the uh, it's either the hut or some something, and uh, we have a uh, couple families live together, and the uh, people were pretty nice enough to uh, have uh, read me the English uh, book. Uh, you know, uh, they read me the English word and then they also give me the translation and then I remember uh, maybe 30, 40 words a day uh, memorized, memorized because there was no, um, nothing to write on so uh, I had to memorize about 40 words a day so uh, it was a feat, I, I was surprised myself sometimes, you know so uh, I start with that and then when I came to the United States uh, I uh, I had a very good. Uh, I, I went to a high school, and uh, they that uh, people love to listen. You know, people love to listen. So, and and um, I'm always uh, dreaming to become a professional musician, a songwriter, and a singer. And uh, and I'm have, I have done both all of them. Uh, an instrumentalist, a singer, and a songwriter. So that's a big achievement for me. Uh, 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 I always. I dreamt of um, meeting Stevie Wonder and performing with him on stage and, and, and it happened in, in uh, uh, 2007, so that was a big deal. <laughs> so Stevie, you know, my hero, uh, my inspiration. So finally, we, uh, uh, I had a call from the, a group called Media Access Award. Uh, they have my name on their list of call. Hey, uh, we are giving a lifetime achievement to uh, Stevie Wonder. Uh, uh, are you free that day? You wanna? Uh, we we love to have you uh, with Stevie playing something together. Are you free that day? And I was thinking to myself, are you kidding me? I cancel everything. <laughs> yeah. So of course I did. I cancel everything. Yeah. <laughs> so that was cool. So that was a big deal for me. And uh, so so uh, yeah. and also uh, right now. Uh, my latest achievement is the uh, the charity group that uh, me and my friend uh, have organized, Ngoc Trong Tin, which uh, help, helping me to helping me to uh, uh, give back like I wanted to do uh, when I first came to America, uh, giving back to people who are disabled but uh, uh, with talent, disabled uh, people with talent but have uh, no opportunity to be on the mainstream. You know, and so uh, I'm just uh, laying down the path for the Vietnamese uh, disability community who uh, would love to be in the entertainment business, uh, uh, and I want to uh, me, me and the group uh, want to give back to to give them a voice. You know, not just music, but uh, uh, social science and people uh, disability, but uh, also an educator and. Uh, you know, you know, science and social and uh, uh, music, of course, all all kind of artists. Um, that's what uh, that's the uh, latest achievement that you know, that make me feel very good. Yeah. You know. uh, that <coughs> what song that you? How many songs did you um, wrote? Oh, I wrote many. Um, I have. Um, uh, two CDs of my own, and I have a lot of uh, music that uh, within the uh, album of other things, you know, like uh, over the charity group videos, you know, you know Ngoc Team videos. I have them, uh, they also have my music. Um, yeah, so I, I wrote uh, a lot of songs. Uh, which song that you like the most? Can you play? And also, the other day, I was watching you to, uh, on the stage, and uh, only one guitar, you play like the whole orchestra. Can 
term of a song to sing, um, one of my uh, f favorite songs that I wrote is called Gia Dieng Chen Doi Hoang, um, which is called uh, uh, The Wild Man on the Hill. Um, it, it's a story uh, of um, people who uh, only judge people judging other people by the outside appearance, you know. So they judge this uh, fool uh, who looks weird uh, uh, without knowing anything about him and uh, they don't like to uh, hang out with him. But, uh, you know, one day they realize he's not who he is, uh, more than who he is, you know. But, you know, you know uh, uh, a, uh, a saint or, you know, you know something like that. I'll sing a little bit for that. dedicated to people who are helping uh, poor children everywhere and, so, and I give a free lesson for people who dis uh, with disability yeah. you know so like my teacher used to do for me yeah uh, maybe not always free but you know, uh, maybe a open music school um, with uh, the Western technology uh, in Vietnam who knows you know you know I want to use music to uh, uh, create positive feelings, you know, uh, positive um, contribution. Um, use music and uh, meditation at the same time, you know, to uh, to heal, uh, to feel good, to feel good about uh, uh, yourself and others, you know, like like music helped me feel, and also uh, someday uh, my other my my other small dream that I have is someday to have my own DVD. You know? <laughs> uh, DVD of my own, yeah. And uh, somehow my music can go around the world, and uh, you know, other people can have a chance to listen to the positive message that I have in my songs. Yeah. What is uh, your message to young people, especially the disability, disabled children? 
young people? Uh, my message is very simple. If you don't know, ask. You know, if you have a question, ask. Uh, and uh, that's all you. That's all I can really say. You know, um, you know, if you don't know what to ask, ask what you. What should I know? Yeah. You know? That's it, you know. So that's what I. Uh, that's the story of my life. When I don't know something, I just ask without you know, being shy or anything like that. You know, I'm 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 not shy of asking questions. Yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, the reason that um, I'm I am what I am, I, I have big achieve. What I have achieved is by asking questions. Sometimes not. Talk, right question but I keep on asking yeah yeah and um, and that's why um, I'm very happy for the opportunity um, to, to be uh, everywhere performing especially here today um, we are speaking from a convention in Missouri you know and uh, uh, thanks to the organization called One Body Village who are also a very good organization from Father Wimba uh, that we are here today in Missouri for the convention. Um, well, the Ngap Tom Team group, me and my friend Anton Lai and a lot of, and, and some other people in our team. And all we do is asking questions, you know. Is it what, we, what should we do? How we feel? You know, what we should we do to get better, you know? Yeah, that's it. Thank you very much, Dad. Yeah, thank you. Oh, I appreciate it. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, cool. yeah.